G'day everyone, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick. Today we celebrate 10,000 subs. Thank you all for subscribing to this channel. It is a big deal to me. Thank you so much. What a great milestone we finally hit. All right, let's dive right in. We're gonna set up a new comp 1920 by 1920. We're gonna name this Anime Lines. Let's start and make sure the crosshair is up. So if you don't have these crosshairs up, which is the title safe, you go to title safe and click this little widget here and it'll give you these crosshairs right in the middle, which is what we want. Let's go to the pen tool up here and then we will select somewhere roughly around the middle. Let's hold in the middle here. So we'll go right here in the middle, it's dead center. It's really important you get dead center because this will actually make a big difference. And then we'll hold down shift and click over here. And right now the stroke is around 91. We will set it around 80 just for now. You might have a situation where you've drawn the line and nothing is there. Well, what you do is you go to fill and turn that off to nothing and then go to stroke and turn that to solid. And that'll bring the fill back up and you can adjust the width of the fill right there for the stroke. Let's go to the stroke and let's go down to stroke and then go to taper. And then let's set the start length to 100%. And that'll give us our little taper here at the edge here, which is what we want. Let's also drag this uh, right to the edge. And I know we could have done that earlier, but it's important that you did that first step because it actually sets where the origin point is and you'll see why in a sec. Once we've done that, we go to add repeater and then we'll tour down to the repeater and we'll tour down to transform. We'll go to the position and we'll set that to zero. And now we'll go to the rotation and we'll set this to, I don't know, whatever you like. As you can see here, it's not what it's not quite getting to the end here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just click on this, like hold shift and click on this uh, path. And then we're just going to drag this out holding shift and drag it all the way out. So that corner goes to the edge. All right, let's do this. Let's add a few more copies. So maybe about, let's say 10. Um, and then you can spin them around in whatever configuration you like. It doesn't really matter, but I, th I reckon not having them completely symmetrical is kind of good. So maybe something like that. Again, adjust for taste. Once a time! Is your boss constantly harassing you to get those motion graphics out on a deadline? No! God, please, no! Well, cut those times in half using the Lyric Video Creator Kit. 22 customizable presets, templates, motion backgrounds, and best of all, you don't need any After Effects skills. Just drag and drop them onto your Premiere timeline and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Grab the Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description today so you can leave early and hang out with your loved ones. Or if you're like me, go home to an empty house and watch TV alone. All alone. You know the last thing she said to me? It was that she didn't feel like I was the motion designer I used to be. She said my graphics sucked and that if I didn't fix them soon, she was just gonna move out. So I started this YouTube channel in the hope that she sees I've gotten better. But who knows? Let's duplicate this. So we'll go to and highlight this and go edit and then duplicate. And let's select this and let's make this say 20, which is just a smaller version. We'll solo this one. So click the radio dial here to solo it. And right now you can see it's a little bit thinner than the previous one. Let's make it even thinner than that. We're gonna make these little tiny strokes. Uh, maybe we'll make them tinier than that. That looks a bit better. Now we're gonna increase the amount of lines here. So these are like the finer lines. So we'll go down to the repeater and let's increase the number of copies to say 20. All right, that's looking pretty good. Maybe even 30. No, that's probably too many. All right, let's make it 20. And we can probably muck around the spacing again as well, just to kind of see what we like. See if we can get a few more random edges here like that as well. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now, what we're gonna go to now is go to the rotation and we're gonna hold down Alt, our option, and we're gonna bring out the expressions box. And what we're gonna type in here is random. And then we're gonna type 360, oh no, we're gonna type zero and 360. And what that will do is input a number randomly between the number zero and the number 360 anywhere in this plane. So as you can see, it'll just, it's random in the sense like it's not linear. It'll either, you know, 142, it'll jump to 322. It just picks a number at random in between there, which is fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is copy this expression, right click copy, and we're gonna paste. 
and that'll express place that expression onto that one as well. And so we've already kind of halfway there. If you want to add a bit more variation, I would suggest duplicating this. What we can do is we can also adjust the, uh, the length of this one to just give a little bit more variation. And then likewise with this one, we can just, you can just mark around the parameters to kind of give you a little bit more variation on the same thing. And there you go, there are the anime lines. Now what I would suggest doing is grabbing this and then taking it into a new comp, we'll call this anime lines feathered. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag, grab the mask tool up here and go to the ellipse tool. And we're just going to hold down shift and drag a circle out. And if you want, you can hold down spacebar too and reposition the circle of the mask. So it's roughly in the center there as well, or you can just do it after. Now, as you can see, that's the wrong way. So we're gonna invert it. And we're gonna press F to bring out the feathering and we're gonna feather this out so it's nice and feathered. Now we're gonna bring this, we can double click on the mask to bring up the where the feathering of the mask is. And we'll press MM to bring up the mask properties and we can adjust the the mask expansion so we can make it go further out. And as you can see, this is all on an alpha channel. And so you can place this over anything you want and it'll be anime lines for days. And if you guys are interested on how to do that shine effect that I showed in the opening credits, you can check this tutorial out here. It's worth your watch, trust me. All right, thanks guys. See you next time. And thanks for watching.